Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to give you a little practice routine to help you develop a draw with your irons. If you've not called it yet, check out my uh, video that I did on hitting a draw with your driver. The link will be up in the corner. It's really important that we understand how you need to move to make that ball bend right to left. This is for right-handed golfers. For many a year, as I explained in the, my previous video, we've all felt trying to get from the inside, closing the club face down. And if many of you gone out there and really tried to work on pumping the golf club down, working it from the inside to try to hit a draw, and then you've really... <laughs> What a rancid shot that is. Two degrees up, 16 degrees from the inside and a closed face to path. If you're one of these guys that doesn't like to use the right shoulder, wants to hold the shoulder back, keep my hips shut, get from the inside, hit that inside quarter and try to hit that draw. And yet you go down the, down the range and you have a little look at your video and look at your golf swing and you go, oh man, I just can't turn through it. Well, why wouldn't you turn through it if you're trying to really get from the inside? I'd like to give you a little a way of practicing hitting a draw. I'm going to get you to aim yourself up the right hand side here. So we could arguably say that's aiming right. So, I'm going to aim myself up the line of these golf balls. And if that's the straight line, I think we could arguably say that's about, well, getting on for 45 degrees to the right. So now what I'm going to aim to do, I'm going to aim absolutely dead straight along this ball line here, along the line of these balls. And then, I'm going to try my absolute hardest to make my ball bend to the left. And the way I'm going to do that is by trying and get out my own way, which will make the club come outside, and then it's going to feel super low in my through swing. So you can see my foot line is matching the ball line, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make the ball go left. What I've done is, I've kept my feet pretty flat. Fortunately, Trapman didn't get the data on that one. Let me try that again. So what I've done is, I've got my feet flat on the floor. I've now moved the golf club around me. And now the ball is bend, bent right to left. I've aimed 45 degrees right of target. I've swung Miles around me, I've been flat-footed, I've swung the club back inside. And now the golf club has had a chance of squaring the face up to the path, in fact closed by 10 degrees and made the ball bend. Understanding that the track of the handle moving around us has the very best possibility of making that ball draw. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim dead straight. But this time I'm going to try and make my club path match that line of balls, which is what a lot of you guys and girls would try to do. So I'm going to swing down and I'm going to try and approach it and swing along that line. Held my body off, got the club traveling from the inside. You can see I'm 11.4 degrees. And if you heard that, I was awfully close to shanking that shot. And just to prove it, as you just saw, I got close to shanking it. But the more important fact is that the ball didn't draw enough. Now, if you are from the fraternity that believes that path will fix the draw, you would then, because you didn't see the ball draw enough, you would then try and swing even more from the inside.
and because we're even more from the inside, 16 degrees, <laughs> now the face is 0.5 degrees open. Now you can understand why someone pushing it more and more and more and more inside would not hit a draw. This drill, where you aim down the right and then you try to swing the golf club around you to pull it back onto target. That was a shockingly thin strike. You can now appreciate that the fact that the club handle and me moving around the ball gave me the chance to draw the golf ball. Now what I want you to do, I want you to reduce the aim line by 45 degrees and I want to move it to 25 degrees. And now I'm going to aim down that white line of balls. So I'm less to the right now and I'm still going to make the same feeling happen of that say or the same thing happen from that 45 degrees to the right drill. That golf ball might be a bit dead. So now I've got less path to the right but I've still got my same draw. Now I'm going to move the golf balls even closer. Now I'm roughly down at 15 degrees to the right of my target. Aim down that ball line and I'm going to make the same thing happen. So I still felt the golf club come around and now all of a sudden I've got some proper draw. Now when a golfer makes the ball bend a long way to the left, let me tell you, only good things happen. It's like drinking lots of water, it's like eating vegetables and training in the gym three or four times a week. Only good things happen my friend. Fades and slices are like the burger meat and the fast food and fizzy pop of the golfing world. I'm now going to have the ability and lose the, the need to feel like I need to close the face over. I can still move the club around me, but you can see on my left hand side here, I no longer need a closing face. I can actually start to feel like I can create a little bit of loft in my golf club. So I'm now 10 degrees up to the right, no more than. I'm now going to move the golf club around me still and still had slightly too close the club face. Bit of an over, over, or hangover rather of what I've just been demonstrating. Now I'm going to go three degrees to the right of target. I mean, three degrees, I mean, I don't bloody know how far right it is, but it's not a lot, is it? And I'm still feeling the same sensations to a slightly lesser degree than the 45 degrees to the right. And now, for game face on Stuart, I'm going to try to feel the same around that I was feeling at the 45, but I'm going to leave the face alone. Oh baby, be right. I'll take it. Therefore, people, do not be trying to swing to the right. It'll only open the face up. But hopefully that little drill that you can try down the range this weekend or when you're next down there to help you start drawing the golf ball. Fade is slightly different. You can do exactly the same drill, but the fade needs to be discussed in a slightly different way, which I promise you that video will be coming your way. I think you'll agree, my friends, that is good coaching. If you've liked this video, do like it, do share, subscribe with your friends. I want you to play the golf of your lifetime in 2023 and beyond. Stay tuned for more information. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.